In this project, we will simulate a solar heat exchanger. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. The present model is designed in three dimensions using design model software. The model is related to a heat exchanger that consists of a central part for water flow and a special space for air. The inlet and outlet of the water flow are located on the side wall of the heat exchanger and there are several rows of barriers inside the water flow space, which are especially designed to guide the water flow. The meshing of the model is carried out using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh tab is structured. The element number is equal to 304,200. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, now after you expanded the models, double click on the energy button and then in the appeared box, enable the energy equation to calculate the temperature changes inside our computational dummy. Now after double clicking on the boundary conditions button and the appearance of a new part in the middle section of the software window, if you click on the inlet boundary and then click on edit button, a new window will appear in which you can change the settings related to this boundary. It should also be mentioned that the type of this boundary is set to be velocity inlet, which means that we can define a velocity value for this inlet boundary. Now in this window, under the momentum tab, in front of the velocity magnitude, you can see we have entered a value of 4 meters per second. And if you click on the thermal tab, you can see the temperature of the flow entering through this boundary. Now if you click on the thermal tab, you can see coupled thermal condition is defined, which means that this ball is in contact with fluid on its both sides. Also, we have a shell conduction settings enabled. By clicking on edit button in front of it, you can change the settings related to this shell conduction. After you click on edit button, in the appeared window, you can see we have one layer of shell conduction with a property is that its thickness is equal to 1 mm with the material of aluminum. Now for the obstacles and barriers that are placed inside our computational domain, you can see the heat flux thermal condition is defined and the value of heat flux applied on these walls is equal to zero. And finally under the radiation tab, you can see again opaque boundary condition type is selected. And also you can see under the solar boundary condition, we have disabled the option of participates in solar ray tracing. Now if you click on the thermal tab for the next wall boundary, again you can see heat flux thermal condition is defined and the value of heat flux applied on this wall is equal to zero. Again you can see under the radiation tab, the opaque boundary condition type is defined for this boundary. There are two ways to check that your simulation process have reached convergence or not. Alongside checking the residuals reaching and nearing zero, you may define an arbitrary report or an arbitrary boundary in order to calculate different parameters like pressure, velocity, temperature, and see whether they reach a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation process have reached convergence. However, you must check the residuals as well. To create such report, you can simply right-click on Report Definitions, go over New, and select one of the options available based on your simulation. On the low left side of the software window in front of the variable, you can select your desired variable, which in this slide we have selected pressure, for example. And then by clicking on the Apply button, the software will show you the 3D contour. Now in this slide, you can see the pressure distribution inside our computational domain in 3D. You can simply extract or create another 3D contour by just changing the variable section, for example, from pressure to temperature. And then by just clicking on apply again, the software will show you the 3D contour of the temperature. And in this slide, you can see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain, and you can easily see the temperature has increased from the inlet section until the outlet section. On the low left side of the software window in front of the method, make sure that XY plane is selected and then in front of the Z, make sure that value of 0 meter is selected. Then click on apply button. And finally, in this slide, you can see the velocity distribution of our flow entering from the inlet boundary and exiting from the outlet boundary. 
finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.